Hello, today's show is teaching you how to gain confidence. Whatever you're feeling, whatever you're thinking, whatever you want to achieve, I'm going to give you the tools to get the confidence that you need. Hello, I'm Marcus Freed. Welcome to Marcus Recommends, where we share great ideas and celebrate life. This is unscripted, unrehearsed, unbiased, and I'm coming to you live from the studio here in Los Angeles. Now today, I want to teach you some tools on how to gain confidence. Many people lack confidence, and this shows up in a number of different areas. It can get in the way of business, it can get in the way of relationships, it can get in the way of having fun, it can get in the way of just living your life but it can also be really costing you. And many business people have a lack of confidence, which means that they overcompensate in some areas, but really hold back in other areas. And it really stops you from achieving the success that you want, the success that you need, and the success that you deserve. So let's look at some tools for really gaining confidence. Number one, question is, what are you afraid of? What is it that you think might happen? And I can speak for myself. I certainly know that over the years I would show up at meetings, maybe back when I was acting and focusing on that, I'd meet a director and I'd kind of crumble and thinking, I've got to impress and I've got to be this and I've got to be that. And the fear would get in the way. So rather than just being your natural self, it's possible to stand up and allow your fear to show up instead of you to show up. And it's like, who's driving the boat? Are you the adult, this clear thinking adult, or is it some kind of inner child? Is it some kind of other thought? What is it that you're specifically afraid of? So if you can be really, really on the mark with this and try and be as honest as possible, write it down, meditate on it, just try and presence, what is that key fear? And for myself over the years, it was definitely a fear of rejection. It came from the childhood stuff. I mean, no one wants to hear about it. Who's interested in it? But it's useful to know what it was. I think back to when I was a kid not being popular, wanting to be liked, wanting other kids to play with and to hang out with. And so it's this old pattern, this old limiting belief that can really show up and hold us back. So what's your fear and how is it holding you back? Be really clear on that because this is going to teach you and get you back on the path for really trying to gain maximum confidence. Number two, what is your limiting belief? And this can often come from an early influence. It may come from a teacher, most likely it could come from a parent because obviously our parents are the biggest influences. And so what is the belief that's holding you back? Now, it could be something like, uh, I have to be polite or I have to be straight with people or I have to be liked. I mean, being liked is a big thing. Again, this is one of mine or was one of mine until I really got present to it and, and cleared it out. So it was all about showing up. Rather than being confident and rather than actually getting this message across, it's, oh, are they going to like me? Are they going to accept me? You know, are they going to take me in? Or are they going to reject me? So really try and find out this limiting belief on, on being liked. I know I got this from my mother and I love my mother very much. And it's a good tool and it can really help us in certain parts of life. But actually it can then get in the way. So we'll take this one being liked. Well, when is it good to be liked? It's good to, you know, you're coming into a social scenario. It's good to be likable. But when you make it all about this belief, think about how that can show up in business. So you might turn up to a meeting and rather than actually connecting with the other person, you're trying to get them to validate you. And it all becomes about acting out some elaborate validation exercise. So that's really going to get in the way of being completely confident. So number one, what are you afraid of? Number two, what is your limiting belief? Number three, what is your message? Or well, who are you? Why are you here? Why are you meeting this person? What is it all about? So really just try and get clear. What is your message or what is your mission? So let's say you're out on a date. You're there to meet the other person, to see if they're going to be a suitable life partner or a one night partner or whatever it is you're going for. That's entirely your business. If you're showing up for a business meeting, then again, you're showing up to find out, okay, can you do business with the other person? Do you want to hire the other person? Or are they going to be a good potential client for you? And you want to offer your services. Be really clear about your message. And when you can stop 
acting from these limiting beliefs and stop acting from these limiting fears, confidence naturally happens. You see, the confidence you've got is already inside, and this is the big secret, in that there is no secret, there is no technique. You've got it all inside. Back to Think back to when you were five years old. You'd show up, you'd say, want an ice cream from your parents, you're like, mommy or daddy, I want an ice cream. Give it to me now, please can I have it? You've got the confidence. You turn to other kids, hey, do you want to play with me? Or you say, actually, I don't like playing with you. So we learn these limiting beliefs. They serve us in some areas, but then they stop serving us, but then we still keep them present. So when you can clear out the fear, clear out the limiting belief, be really clear about who you are, what your message is, you will find you have got all of the confidence you need. So go and use that confidence today, go and shine out, and right below what the results are, I'd love to hear more. Now, if you'd like to sign up for my free video training, which is called Abundance Now, it's going to take you from ideas of scarcity to complete abundance, showing you how you can get wealth, how you can get more clients, how you can get more income in your business and more happiness, then head on over to my website, marcusjfreed.com. I'm Marcus Freed. Thank you for watching. Be happy, stay happy, and celebrate life. See you again.